Hi, my name's Nick Billington. I'm the Acting Route Director for the Wales and Borders Route for Network Rail. I'm here today at Subbrook Pumping Station. Behind me, you can probably hear the traffic. That's the M4 crossing the, the second seven crossing here. And below me is the Seven Tunnel, which is our tunnel. It's a 7,000 metre long tunnel that takes the railway from, from South Wales to England. Well, I've come to meet the team here at Subbrook today to see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis to pump the water out of the tunnel below us here and to keep the tunnel as dry as is possible. Come and see how I get on. A quick history lesson then. The Seven Tunnel was built approximately 130 years ago and it took 13 years to build. Its purpose was to shorten journey times between England and South Wales and it was designed by Sir John Hawkshaw and built by the Great Western Railway. At over four miles long, for many years this tunnel was the longest railway tunnel in Great Britain. During the construction stage, the construction work hit a large natural spring which unexpectedly brought millions of gallons of water and flooded the tunnel construction. And to offset this problem, large pumps were installed at Subbrook and that's where I am today. This is a view of the Welsh portal of the tunnel as it looks today. And this is a view inside of the tunnel of the up and down main lines running between Bristol and South Wales. In the side of the tunnel are some little doors and I'll show you the other side of those doors in a minute. I met up with John Uppington, the depot manager at Subbrook. John and I joined the British Rail Engineering Apprenticeship Training Scheme on the same day in the same cohort 32 years ago in Swindon. And there are many of that group that have become career long friends and are still in the industry. For instance, Paul Grimwood and Mary McNamara work for Fleet Engineering in Great Western Railway. Kevin Clark works for maintenance in Network Rail. And Trevor Hartnett works for Quattro Rail Plant and he still serves the industry. First, we visited the control room for the four one megawatt electric pumps. An astonishing fact for this place is that the electric bill is over one million pounds per year. Here you can look down the 60 metre deep shafts and you can see the pump risers. And of course, I had to go down to the bottom and take a picture of myself looking back up to the top of those shafts. 60 metres down, there's an astonishing network of small tunnels. This is John and I approaching a small door in the wall of the main tunnel where the railway runs past. We followed another small tunnel that sits directly above the diverted main spring. Over 15 million gallons of water are pumped from this spring every day. We visited the main pump house. It's like a Victorian railway museum, only some of the equipment is still in use. Here you can see the top of the newly refurbished pump risers. And if you look up in the air, you can see a gantry crane that dates back to 1886. We followed the spring water on its final journey. Here you can see the water leaving the pump risers. It then travels along a purpose-built channel and then to an outfall beside the River Severn. Here you can see the water flowing into the River Severn. That's the end of my check-in here today at Subbrook Pumping Station. Behind me here you can see the Victorian structure that houses the pumps that pump out the water to stop the tunnel flooding. The railway industry is a truly amazing place and it amazes me the amount of tasks that our skilled people do on a day-to-day -day basis to keep our railway running. It was fantastic also to catch up with John Uppington here at Subbrook Pumping Station. John and I started together on the railway 32 years ago. We were in the same apprentice cohort in Swindon and it was great to, to catch up and, and remember all of our colleagues that, uh, that came through on that apprenticeship cohort. So that's me checking out here today from Subbrook Pumping Station in South Wales. All the best. Bye-bye.